as kids and adults are getting their costumes ready for tomorrow's spooky events. There are some things that you should know before heading out. KPLC's Haley Jefferson spoke with city officials about how to safely participate in Halloween events. Whether it's trick or treating or going to a costume party, Halloween is filled with candy, costumes and spooky decorations. A time for fun, but safety should always be a top priority. Sergeant Scott Doherty with the Lake Charles Police Department says wearing reflective costumes can aid in Halloween safety. A glow sticks, lights, even a reflective vest if your parents work in the refineries or in the industry and they have one laying around for safety, put that on while you're transiting between residences and that can add a lot of safety to you as well. And checking your candy before letting your child indulge is also important. Pull it out, look at it. Um, if something just doesn't seem right, toss it in the trash can. Westlake Fire Department Chief Jonathan Duff says calls responding to food allergies is something that is also common Halloween night. Around Halloween, there's a big influx of uh, allergy calls. Uh, so we you know, do a lot of allergies, uh, peanuts, things like that. So you want to make sure you check the candy, make sure it's appropriate for the child. Chief Duff says Halloween night is the highest chance that a kid can get hit by a vehicle. So walking on the sidewalk is recommended. And while they're walking around, you definitely want to stick to the sidewalks. You want to stay in neighborhoods that are well lit. You want to stay off of major, major highways, you know, major roads. Uh, stay in the neighborhoods uh, and, and stick to places that have a, a low speed limit. Uh, and if you are one who prefers a golf cart rather than walking. And if you're going to be on a golf cart, you want to make sure that it's a licensed driver driving and that you don't have more kids than you have seats on the golf cart. Uh, you don't want anybody standing or anything like that because we do have calls from time to time where somebody falls off of a golf cart. It's dark outside, a lot of people. so. Um, that's the best way to go with that. Trick or treating in groups is highly suggested by both officials. Haley Jefferson, 7 News. For a full list of safety tips, visit our website at kplctv.com.